Good morning, beautiful souls. Happy Friday. It is Tim residing in the woodland realm. Checking on in the checking in on the energy, seeing what's coming through. And um, how have you all how have you all got through solstice this week? How's it been for you? I mean, in, in in the UK, we were just utterly blessed with the most beautiful weather. It's been sunny it's been hot there's an ant crawling towards me um, and basically it's been really beautiful but the intensity has been absolutely it's been off the charts it really has been off the charts there's we know these spiritual dates are going to bring changes we know that they're going to bring shifts in energy there's been huge and kind of like you know almost like very generous quantities of information from the higher realms sort of saying we're doing this we're doing that we need assistance with certain aspects of it make sure that you're ready make you know and and giving a framework for kind of the operations which they do every year but this year is different it's um when david and i did our workshop together on the solstice bringing in the the the, the angelic uh, the the angelics the dragons the unicorns to begin alchemizing the very solid very kind of set almost impenetrable structures of 3d it was quite a sight to behold we do these visualizations we we bring this energy in we kind of place our hands on our hearts we close our eyes we we see it, we feel it, we hope for the best, you know, we, we, we place our trust in the universe that what we are asking is going to actually occur. And I just saw the most incredible movement of very intense activity from, from the heavens. They, they are pouring in to what we regard as the 3D matrix before. I've had a few comments over the, the past few videos, you know, could I possibly stop referring to the 3D matrix as the 3D matrix? Well, the short answer to that is no, I can't because that's what it is, okay? The, we, we need to kind of be aware of, or more accepting of the polarity on this planet, just because something is what we regard as okay it's dark it might be the sh it might be shadow it might be something that's frightened us in the in the past or threatens the integrity of our energy the higher we raise our vibration these things become they they bear no consequence obviously we have to deal with the way that it affects us but that becomes almost like a second nature a bit like getting up in the morning cleaning your teeth having a shower to acknowledge and be at peace with what we regard to be the shadow aspects of our existence is a step on the pathway to ascension. To reject something, to, complete, to completely reject something, to be frightened of it, to be, at, to, to be completely at, at opposition with it, is still retaining that that imbalance of polarity. So where I'm going with this at the moment this morning, <clears throat> I've seen this incredible downflow of light coming in and it's aimed directly at the third dimensional structures. Now I'm, got, I'm not gonna use the favorite Facebook trigger words of, of you know, the, the institutions, okay? Be they financial, be they positions of kind of authority all of the, all of these structures are the ones that kind of hold that the matrix the third dimensional matrix the old way in place and they're very much trying to establish a much more controlling system that's what all of this fuss has been about the stuff that we've witnessed you know the constant invitations to go back to the 3d fear party and at the moment as we raise our vibration and as the light pours into these shadowed areas, the ones that were not visible before, it becomes less and less of a of what we would regard as 
an issue. And I feel and see this as because we're, we've began to raise our consciousness and the vibration, our vibration, to a point now where we are observing this. But we're observing it not from a passive, so much of a passive, we are part of the operation and the team that is busy breaking down these old crystallized structures that have been in place for thousands and thousands of years. Now, as well as what's going on, what what, what is being, you know, the, the target, the light is being very much targeted specifically. Okay, so you've got the teams of the dragons, the teams of the angels, the unicorns, the ascended masters. Everybody is kind of pouring this light into the planet. Now, I've spoken about the effects of this previously. As soon as this occurs, it releases the guy ropes that are holding these old structures in place. And at that point, they don't just simply disappear. They begin the process of alchemy. Okay. Now, very interestingly enough, David Essary saw a very beautiful Merkaba being placed around the Earth called the Earth Merkaba. And this is what we were working with in our workshop. So as the last few days or weeks of the storm layer is taking place, the storm layer, which is around the planet, if you want to know more about it, please check my website. There's information on there. I've spoken about it previously in my videos. So the storm layer is is entering its last month or, or six weeks before the beginning of the lion's gate and to assist with the final clearing there's an in, just this amazing looking and 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 it feels incredible as well angelic structure that's been built around the planet called the earth merkaba so all of this light and all of this intense energy that's pouring in that's being specifically targeted towards the very the the powerful institutions the one that's ones that control with money with with kind of the 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 way that societies are set up and the way that they're trying to kind of usher in all all of these this, this kind of what they call the fourth industrial revolution or the great the great reset all of these things that are occurring have been specifically planned to maintain the third dimensional matrix in a state of integrity basically making sure that it survives <laughs> the ascension process of the planet so all of this is now pouring in as well as the solstice energies which is means that you and i are going to be feeling far more of what's going on around us. You might be more aware of other people's emotions. You might be more aware of other people's energies. People might be, you know, like for once of a better word, freaking out a little bit because they're picking up stuff or more stuff than they would do normally. Emotions are heightened. Fields are full of, you know, like triggers and everything is being tailored to ensure that we have the opportunity to see the reflections around us that we need and to start releasing the deeper triggers. Now, we spoke about this last night in the, in the fourth workshop that I, was do, I did with Mir Kafkios with the One Unity Generation. In order to completely rise above our earthly challenges, to be in that very enviable position of the what we would regard the angelics where they can witness scenarios going on and they do it from a higher perspective obviously they've you know I've, I've often wondered how the angels have coped with seeing how we've progressed on planet earth over the hundreds and thousands of years, the way that we've treated each other, the way that we've treated the planet, the way that human beings, when given the option of polarity, will very often take the darker path and act completely in, in accordance with their lower will rather than their higher will. And I've, I've, I've said to myself, well, I wonder how it actually is to be an angel seeing this and how, whether, that, um, whether the angels are emotionally triggered and my conclusion and having spoken to them is 
they have to work on their detachment the same way as that we do okay so an angel exists for service okay they are heart-centered beings they do not have the ego that we have they are aware of the ego and they have learned through observing us how an ego is but how an ego affects us but they don't actually have the egoic reactions that we do so how is it to stand from this higher perspective in the seventh the eighth and ninth dimensions looking down on humanity unable to inter intervene or intercede without permission and just simply having to view it and it would be the same for our guides it would be the same for our personal angels and everything and I've kind of digressed a little bit because we that is ultimately what where we're going that's ultimately what our target is to be able to witness obviously with compassion what is occurring around us but without being emotionally triggered and engaged with it and that is that comes when we have done the significant quantity of self work ego you know working on the ego working on our shadows because the whole point of what we're going through at the moment is to release the triggers now a trigger will be in your bodies and your fields and your reactions kind of on a on a physical mental emotional spiritual level because you have experienced something similar previously might have been in this lifetime might have been in a past lifetime might have been your last lifetime you might have been involved in a war you might have been involved in the in the the final days at the fall of atlantis or something which is going on which will now be constantly triggering your alarm bells and of course we get to the point where we do enough work to to get to that state of elevation so we can witness with compassion what is going on around this planet without being tuned into it connected triggered and ultimately emotionally invested in situations that are needing more light rather than more fear and more anger so everything that you're going to be experiencing at the moment everything between the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere obviously the winter in the south and the lion's gate this is a huge and I mean huge period of personal and planetary clearing now. Um, I mean, I've, I've prob I probably say something similar every year with each with each operation that occurs during this incredible ascension process. Things get bigger, things get more intense. There's more assistance, more is released. But I genuinely witnessed something so incredible occurring that I was like, right, okay. How do we as light workers actually deal with what is going on? And the answer was very simple. And this is, and I've seen this pattern um, reflected in quite a lot of people who are, are working, you know, full time with these energies, you know, fully committed to the ascension on the planet. And that is to step back and actually relax, take a breath realize that everything is in hand but it is going to be marching forwards regardless of whether we're comfortable with what is occurring or not so take some rest and some integration and some time for yourself if you feel you need to do so and it's an interesting thing that i've seen as a pattern within me that i feel that if i'm not pushing all the time that i'm off the spiritual pathway i feel if i'm not constantly surging forwards and experiencing that kind of almost addictive endorphin rush of of forward movement that the the entire ascension process is going to collapse or something's going to occur because my eye is off the ball that is completely the opposite of of, of the way things are at the moment as this work occurs on a personal level for me for you for everybody else involved in this shift as all of the help and the assistance and the light floods into the planet take that time to step back get centered and actually absorb and enjoy the frequencies that we're receiving so 
say for example we've got july july is the kind of the the the, the month in between the solstice and lion's gate have a think about doing the things that you want to do relaxing walking might be breath work might be a detox might just simply being having fun with your family and your friends you, if you're doing this you're not taking your eye off the ball you're not taking your eye off the prize you are simply moving into a state where you are more aligned with your heart center so although we are being asked to put everything all aspects of ourself into this mission we're also simultaneously being asked to relax and let all of this flow in and when we need to take time to take that time because that time is very that that personal space is extremely important now also i see a huge amount of people going through personal changes as this occurs you know the the soul path calleth and all of a sudden when that soul path presents itself in the manner that they invariably do bearing in mind this is your master lifetime okay this this incarnation the one that you, you know the the soul personality that is listening to this recording this is your master lifetime you haven't come here to do half a job you haven't come here to just kind of like faff around on planet earth and have a little bit of fun and then go back again well you might have done but you will have invariably signed the soul contract to experience that the majority of you listening to this because you are focused on what is going on will be just stepping into or will have already stepped into your master role and that master role is so powerful that it changes everything any dynamic that you have around you that you regarded as a solid structure if it is not in alignment with your soul path it will disintegrate now this might sound like it you know a little bit unsettling or maybe a bit jarring but a lot of the time it tends to occur over a period of say six months a year two years or you might be somebody who's like pulled the etheric tower card and and there's just a demolition okay and all of the things that are no longer aligned with your master pathway just simply fall away and that can be quite diff that that's another thing so it's I always base what I'm what I what I'm personally experiencing also in alignment with so many other souls and I'm seeing this occurring very much so to conclude there's this incredible period of personal and planetary cleansing occurring now like completely eclipsing anything that we've seen previously it's massive okay it's but you might be you might be feeling this very intensely or you might have now got to the point now where you enjoy the energies we, we are supposed to be enjoying this <laughs> okay i know this sounds you know like some of you might be no i'm i'm literally i'm at the at my wits end stop Okay, take time, stop, reevaluate what it is that's pushing you so hard. Is it you? Is it what you've agreed to do? Is it your outside circumstances? Is it a pattern that is going round and round and round like a hamster wheel in your mental and emotional bodies? All of these will be going at full speed to bring your attention to it. Bring it to a stop, breathe, ground, hydrate, take time have fun all of this work is going to continue around us regardless of whether we're completely full on with it all the time it's in the fact it's in the hands of the higher forces now we are assisting with anchoring and integrating an incredible amount of light where we have signed our soul contracts and agreed to be so where you are at the moment at the moment in time is absolutely perfect for this particular point in your ascension pathway if you need to move then you then invariably you'll be taken off because once you put yourself into universal flow once you 
have said, right, I, I trust what is going on and you align yourself with your higher self, then everything falls into place exactly as it should be. But if you're struggling at the moment, if you're feeling very under pressure, look at what you've agreed to do. Look at your personal tests. Look at what you've been pushing yourself with and maybe bring your foot off the gas a little bit. That's definitely what I've been asked to do is just to, and, and I've had to copy other people basically, good friends of mine that are going, I'm taking time out, <laughs> you know, I'm go, you know, it's, it's not like I'm going on strike. I'm taking some time out, not just a week, not just two weeks, but like a month. And although the work continues, it's a little bit like, I'm going to put less pressure on myself, ease off a little bit, enjoy the summer or the winter, wherever you may be. Disconnect from the efforts of the third dimensional matrix to kind of draw you in, keep you in fear, because believe me, they're going to continue trying. You know, like there's there's newspaper report after newspaper report coming out or, or coming through the computer screen of what they're trying to do each time to to trigger people's survival mechanisms, to bring them into that state of fear. It is of no consequence. That vibration does not concern or affect us once we are aligned with the heart centre. And now there's so many of us, that's its own field, that's its own consciousness. We've actually really begun to build the golden fifth dimensional matrix all around us simply by being in that vibration. The fifth dimension isn't a destination, it's a personal vibration. And that personal vibration will set the boundaries of the reality that we therefore choose to live in. So that's worth bearing in mind. So wishing you all a beautiful Friday. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll be back on Monday for a, a Meditation Monday. Lots of love. Bye for now.